Now, <clears throat> this is a problem on uh, bearings. Uh, let's read the problem. So this is from NCA level one in New Zealand, and this would be an excellent question on the topic of geometric reasoning. A farmer has a rectangular shaped field. So this is a field which is rectangular shaped. Okay. He describes the path he walks across the field starting from point A. So he's starting from point A and he's going for a walk. So I'm describing how he walks. First, he walks on a bearing of 70 degrees for 1,000 meters to reach point B. So let me draw what does that mean. So he's walking uh, 1,000 meters. So he starts walking from A to B. So this is 1,000 meters, say, and this is 1,000 meters. And at a bearing of 70, so now bearing is always from the north. So this is the north, so you can draw, say, this is your north from A. North is always pointing up, so this is your north from A. And bearing is always from north and clockwise, two things, from north clockwise. So this is 0, 7, 0, or in simple, this is 70 degrees. And bearing you write always in three numbers or three digits. Then he, he then turns at B and walks 500 meters on a bearing of 323, reaching point C on the north side of the field. So what, what is happening from? So let me draw the north from there. So this is, say, the north from point B. From there, he is walking 500 meters, and he reaches the, so this is the north of the field. And he, this is C. This is C, and this is B. OK. And this distance from B to C is 500 meters. And this angle, this is 323. Again, as I told you, bearing is always from the north and going clockwise. So this angle is 323 degrees. And you want to find, calculate how far he still need to walk to reach G, uh, reach the corner G of the field. That means basically you want to find the distance from C to G. Okay, so let me extend this. Okay, so this is the north from B. Okay, so <clears throat> this is one full circle. So I can figure out this angle by going 360 minus 323. Okay, so this is 7 and this is 37 degrees. So this angle is 37 degrees. And this is a right angle. Okay, so I'm going to drop this down so that, okay, so let me drop this down till here. So this is again a right angle. So if this is 70, how much is this angle? This angle would be 20 degrees. Okay, so basically you want to find this distance. So this is your x. So let us call this. The distance from C to G is x. Okay. So, and we know the distance from this point to this point is 1,500 meters. So, so let's, uh, let me call this, say, let's find this. Let me color code this. I want to find this. Okay. So this side, so let me use it. I'm do using color code. So this side is, we can use so katoa. So, oh, let me do it in a better way. So let me call this, say, B. No, you already got B. So let me call this M. M. So can I say cos 20? Cos 20 is adjacent, which is AM over hypotenuse. You're adjacent of 20, 20 degrees AM, and your hypotenuse is 1,000. So now you can cross multiply. So you can say AM. So in triangle AMB, this angle is a right angle, and this is a cos. This is a 20 degree, so we can use SOKATOA. So cos is adjacent, which is AM over hypotenuse. So AM is 1,000 cos 20. 1,000 cos 20 degree. OK, so let's use a calculator. First, whenever you're using a graphic calculator, always look up your setting. It should be in radian. It should be in degrees. We are working in degrees. 
and then you go exit and then you go 1000 times cos 20 just like that so let's round it so this is 940 939.69 I'm going to round that to 940 meters so this is 940 meters if this is 940 we know the distance from year to year is 1500 so this will be 1500 minus 940 so 1500 minus 940 is 560 so this distance this from year to year so let me say this is a m so let me call this say p so m p this implies you can say m p is how much did we say this is 560 this is 560 meters so this is 560 meters so we can say the distance from year to year is also 560 so now we have to just figure out this this much how much is this that is so this is p so let me call this q okay so what can we do so this is 37 degrees we need to find cq so can we do again soka toa so sine 37 sine 37 is opposite over adjacent which is cq over hypotenuse opposite over hypotenuse so hypotenuse is 500 so you can say cq is 500 500 times sine 37 times sine 37 so let me get the calculator out 500 times sine 37 is 300.9 okay so let me call this 301 300.9 300 is 301 so this is this is 301 meters okay so now you want to find calculate how far he will still need to will still need to walk to reach the corner g of the field okay so we can say cg is equal to 301 plus 560 okay so which is 861 meters your length from uh, he has to walk 861 meters